So Wally and Gio are uh, members of our crisis response team. They are the first two FBI crisis response canines, and they go out to work with the victims of the event as well as the first responders. We recently had them out in San Bernardino. Um, they did hospital visits. They also worked command posts. There were several command posts, so they went and, and helped the first responders. We were actually requested at a number of the command posts um, to assist the first responders, giving them some downtime. The command post was a lot of people in there. It was very tight and small. It was not set up for that. Uh, people are under stress. They're working long hours, nights, weekends, um, a lot of pressure. Those dogs were great. They roamed the area and I saw on many occasions uh, agents and detectives from the task force uh, and just employees that would take the time to pet them. What it is, it's a distraction and it's a good distraction. The Crisis Response Canine Program was kind of a natural evolution of our work with developing the Victim Assistance Rapid Deployment Team. You know, we knew when we arranged to get the dogs that we wanted them not just for the victim assistance response, but also for staff care. The entire Bureau works at a very fast pace. We deal with some of the worst things that happen in the world, and it's very stressful for people. And, and just around the building within our office, uh, the dogs seem to lighten the mood, they help people sort of relax, make them smile. Uh, walking around the building, you can see the reaction. Just simply having the dogs around brings stress levels uh, down for, for both victims and responders. Uh, I can't even imagine how many lives these, these canines will touch because the amount of work that we've been able to do with them in just a short amount of time has shown us what the future could potentially look like. We are always looking for ways to make the unthinkable a little easier for people who experience it directly as victims and families, but also for the responders in the FBI and some of our partner agencies that also are impacted by those events but can't always show it and can't walk away from their job and go somewhere else at the moment to try to find a way to, to cope with what they're dealing with. So it's been a very positive experience for us and one that I think has a large benefit for the FBI. And speaking for myself, it's not a good day if I don't have dog hair on my slacks. <laughs>